You could spend hours testing different website platforms or even weeks waiting on a designer. But as you may know, as a small business owner, time is money. And obviously you don't wanna waste it. So I've already done all this work for you. I've spent countless hours reviewing the best website builders and helping small businesses just like you create websites for themselves. And this video will break down the pros, the cons, and ideal use cases for the five best small business website builders on the market today. And one quick step, before we get into it, a study found that 48% of people won't do business with you if your website looks bad. That's almost half of your potential customers gone before you even say a word if you choose this wrong. So stick around to find out which of these builders will help you turn clicks into customers. And the first one, which I think is the best overall, is Wix. Now, if you're looking for a website builder that's easy, fast, and doesn't require any tech skills, Wix is one of the best options out there. Wix is built for beginners, so you don't need to know code and you don't have to mess with plugins or backend tools or deal with security, anything like that. It's a drag and drop editor that makes designing your website feel more like putting together a slideshow than actually building a website. And what you see is what you get and that's what makes it so popular. There are also over 800 templates to choose from which means that there's likely one that fits your business style exactly. And Wix has built-in tools to cover a lot of different areas that you'll need. So SEO basics, uh, online bookings, and even has basic e-commerce uh, functionality if you sell physical or digital products. And Wix also has something really cool, which is uh, the Wix AI website builder, which will help you build a site based on a few questions. And that's a big help if you're short on time or want something live fast without overthinking the design. It's especially good for service businesses, you know, things like uh, barbershops, coaches, consultants, or any local service provider who just needs something that looks clean and trustworthy. Now the trade-off, you do get the simplicity, but you do lose a little bit of flexibility. So once you pick a template, you really can't switch without rebuilding. Uh, and if you want advanced features later on, uh, Wix can feel a little bit limiting at those points. But for small business owners who just want to get online quickly with a professional looking website that'll bring more customers, Wix delivers. It's fast, reliable, and easy to update, even if tech really isn't your thing. And before I move on to the second website builder, I do wanna mention one quick thing here. Uh, so you can actually click right up here or check out the link in the description below to get free access to a chart where I actually compared all of these website builders across 15 different features to make sure that you really do make the right choice here. Next is the best website builder for custom design and creative control, which is called Webflow. Now, if you care about design, branding, and having full control over how your website looks and functions, Webflow might be the builder for you. Webflow is different from most website builders uh, because it's built for people who want pixel level precision without having to write code. So you get the flexibility of something like WordPress, but with a visual editor that feels more modern and design focused. And this makes it a great option for uh, designers, agencies, and really businesses where the look and feel of the brand really matters. And you're not limited to pre-made templates, you can pretty much start from scratch or fully customize existing layouts as well. Webflow also has a built-in CMS so if you're publishing blog posts, portfolio items, or dynamic content like real estate listings or case studies, it's built to handle that without needing extra plugins. And while it's more advanced than other builders out there, it's still learnable, especially if you've used design tools before. Plus their library of tutorials and templates, it's, it's just massive. And the community is super active as well. That said, there is a learning curve here and it's real. If you're brand new to building websites, it might feel really overwhelming at first. And while it offers powerful e-commerce features, they're not as plug and play as something like Shopify, right? Uh, Webflow's pricing is fair for the control that you get, but it can really add up quickly as well if you're managing multiple sites or using a lot of advanced features. So it's really best suited for businesses that view their site as a serious asset, not just kind of like a digital placeholder. And if you want a site that looks fully custom without hiring a dev team, Webflow does give you the tools. You just need to you know, know that you'll need to invest some time to unlock its full potential. Next is the best website builder for e-commerce and hands down, that's Shopify. So if your business is focused on selling physical products, Shopify is the top website builder to consider. Shopify was built from the ground up for e-commerce. 
Everything from product listings to inventory tracking, shipping payments, and taxes is baked right into the platform. That means that you don't need to piece things together or rely on a bunch of third-party tools just to run your store. You could sell across multiple channels. So you could do your website, social media, even in person uh, with Shopify's built-in POS or point of sale system. It also supports hundreds of payment gateways and lets you offer things like discount codes, upsells, uh, abandoned cart recovery, and more. It's built to help you make sales. Now, design-wise, Shopify offers a range of templates that are clean and conversion-focused as well. You can customize them to fit your brand, and if you want more control, there are paid themes and advanced editing options as well. The downside? Well, Shopify is more expensive than most of the other builders out there, especially once you start adding apps or upgrading plans. And if you use payment providers outside of Shopify payments, there are transaction fees to factor in as well. Still, for product-based businesses, it's really hard to beat Shopify. It gives you the tools that you need to grow an online store with confidence. So, you know, whether you're just starting out or scaling fast, it doesn't matter. It's really the best for that. Next is the best budget-friendly option, and that's Hostinger. So if you're on a tight budget but still want a clean, functional website that doesn't feel cheap, Hostinger might be exactly what you're looking for. Hostinger is mostly known for its affordable web hosting, but it also offers a drag and drop website builder that's surprisingly pretty solid for the price. It's designed for beginners and small businesses that want to launch quickly without spending a ton of money or getting overwhelmed with all the features that they'll probably never use, if we're being honest. Now, the interface is simple, the templates are modern, and everything's pretty well optimized for speed. And because Hostinger controls both the hosting and the website builder, your site loads fast and performs reliably, even on lower tier plans. What really makes Hostinger stand out though is its value. You can get a full website uh, and SSL security for a fraction of what you pay on other platforms. That makes it a great option for freelancers, solo entrepreneurs, or local businesses that are just starting out. That said, there are some real limitations to Hostinger. So you won't find the same level of customization as something like Wix or WordPress. You're really locked into predefined template layouts with only basic style adjustments. And the builder, it can feel very restrictive if you wanna go beyond surface level edits. There's also no real app marketplace. So if you plan to integrate tools like CRM platforms or email marketing automations or even booking systems, you're mostly out of luck there or you're forced to kind of use workarounds, which could easily break. E-commerce is there as well, but it's very basic. There's no advanced inventory tools, no product filtering and limited shipping and tax options. It would work for a very small store, but not one that's trying to grow. And while support is available, it's not 24 seven and it can be slow during busy hours, especially on lower tiered plans. So if something breaks, you might be waiting. So if your priority is you know, launching really fast and staying lean, Hostinger does deliver there. Just know that with that low price comes limited flexibility and you may outgrow it sooner than you think. Next is best for flexibility and that's WordPress. So if you want complete control of your website, how it looks, how it functions, and how it grows with your business, WordPress is by far the most powerful option on the list, but all these other website builders do have custom code as well, so there's that. But let's be clear, WordPress, it isn't technically a website builder out of the box. It's an open source platform you install through a hosting provider like Bluehost. Bluehost makes it easy to get started with one-click WordPress installs and affordable hosting plans as well. It's a solid foundation, especially if you're planning to grow over time. Where WordPress really shines is flexibility. You can literally build anything. So blogs, service sites, online stores, membership sites, even full-blown marketplaces. And there are thousands of different themes out there and over 50,000 plugins to extend functionality however you want. But here's what most people don't realize. You'll need to add a website builder on top of WordPress. That usually means installing a plugin like Divi or another theme builder. And most of those will cost extra money. Without it, the built-in block editor is pretty limited unless you're really comfortable with coding or tweaking themes manually. And there's a learning curve for sure. Setting up your site, customizing it, securing it, backing it all up, it's all on you. Bluehost helps with the basics, but there's really no true drag and drop editor 
unless you install one yourself. And you'll also be responsible for updates and maintenance and again, security, which you may think you won't get hacked and you definitely could. Now, if something breaks after a plugin update, you know, there's no centralized support team to fix it. No one's gonna help you. You're on forums or you're paying a freelancer to do it. So that said, if you want long-term scalability, strong SEO control and the freedom to do things your way completely, WordPress paired with Bluehost, it does give you the most room to grow, but just know that it takes more time, more setup, and often it'll take more money than it seemed at first to actually get things going. And there's just a lot of things that can go wrong on WordPress. Trust me, I've been doing it for a long time. So now that you've seen how each of these builders stack up, let's go ahead and zoom out for a second. Because at the end of the day, the best website builder is the one that really fits your business and doesn't slow you down. So here's what you should really look for before making your choice. First is ease of use. If a website builder feels confusing or clunky, you won't want to update your site. And that's how things start falling behind. So look for drag and drop editors, clean dashboards, and solid tutorials. Next is design flexibility. So some platforms lock you into a very rigid layout and others gives you, you know, some room to really match your brand. The more control that you have, the better your site can reflect your business and your own preferences. Then there's SEO features, which are search engine optimization features, and this is huge. This is the stuff that's gonna make it so that you can actually get found in Google or other search engines and get people to come organically to your website through those search engines to get more traffic. Now, a beautiful site, it doesn't mean much if no one can find it. So make sure that the builder that you choose lets you customize page titles, meta descriptions, image alt tags, and loads fast, especially on mobile. If this is confusing to you now, don't worry. You'll learn it as you go, I promise. And cost is obviously another big factor. So don't just look at the monthly fee. Check what's actually included. Are you paying extra for forms, for backups, for analytics? That cheap plan that you have might get expensive very fast. And if you're selling products or services, you'll want to look closely at the e-commerce tools as well. Some platforms are really built for it, and others just kind of tack it on. And finally, there's integration with tools. Can it connect with your email list? Can it accept bookings or payments? Can you send auto confirmations? Those little automations save you hours every single week, and they can really scale your business as it grows. So use what you've seen in this video and what matters most from this list to choose the platform that actually works with you, not against you. And remember, you can click right up here to get free access to a chart where I compared all these website builders across 15 different features to make sure that you make the right choice. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.